In this video, I am going to discuss about the convex combination and convex set. Before going to the mathematical definition, I will start by an example. Then we will come to the mathematical definition. For example, I am taking a line in one dimensional real space. So I have two points in this line, for example, one and five. If I scale up this one and five, with some values for example with some lambdas such that all lambdas should be greater than or equal to 0 and summation of lambdas should be equal to 1 for example in this case there are two points so I am taking lambda 1 as half and lambda 2 is also as half if I scale up lambda 1 into 1 then I will get 0.5 plus lambda 2 into 5 I will get 2.5 so the total is 3 so 3 will be somewhere here so we can say that 3 is the convex combination of 1 and 5 that is the idea behind the convex combination now let us take another example in two dimension for example I have 1 by 1 here and 5 by 5 here so we have two points I am writing that in matrix form 1 by 1 and 5 by 5 so here I again I am taking two lambdas lambda 1 is basically half lambda 2 is basically half again so I am writing that lambdas here so this matrix is 1 by 2 this is 2 by 2 in the result we will get a 1 by 2 matrix again so I am multiplying this with this and this so 1 by half into 1 plus 1 by half into 5 is equal to 3 here again I will get 3 so 0.33 will be somewhere here so we can say that 3 3 is a convex combination of this point and this point if there are more than two points in two dimension again we can say for example here again we have 6 by 6 so we have three points 6 by 6 5 by 5 1 by 1 so basically we can say that 3 by 3 is a convex combination of all these three points so it doesn't matter we have two dimension again we can have more than two points and we can have a convex combination of that points now let us read the mathematical definition given any finite collection of points x1 x2 till xm in this example for example x1 is this x2 and till xm that is element in rn space in our case it was r2 a point z so this is the z that is again in rn is said to be convex combination of points this z to be convex combination of this and this these points if there exists some lambdas so basically a lambda is in rm space not in rn space because lambda depends upon the number of points not the dimension of the point such that all lambdas should be greater than or equal to 0 and the summation of all lambdas should be equal to 1 such that z is equal to summation of lambda i x a that's what we have written in this matrix form here so far we have discussed what is the convex combination now if we take any set in any space for example i'm taking some set here if i take any two points inside that set a convex combination of these two points and again these points are lying inside the set then that set is called convex set take another example this is also a set i'm taking two points inside the set the convex combination will be like this only so this point is not lying in that set so this is not convex now let us talk about the intersection of two 
convex set or union of two convex set. Firstly, we will talk about the intersection of two convex set, whether that intersection is again a convex set or not. For example, we have a set like this. This is A. We have another set like this. This is B. So this area is basically the intersection of this A and B. So intersection of two convex set A and B will be again convex set. But the union of A and B that's basically this set might not be convex set again. If I take two points here and there, if we take the convex combination of that two points, these points are not inside this set. So union of two convex set might not be convex set again, but intersection of two convex set will be convex again.